So this time we're going to do an interactive birthday card using Python. And, and the microbit. And the microbit, of course. And uh, one reason for doing this is to explore the importing of other libraries, mm -hmm. because music is a library that you need to import mm -hmm. into the Python. Yeah. So we've made this uh, prototype uh, birthday card. Mm -hmm. And we're going to put the microbit uh, In inside, inside of, that. of it. And so that when we press the B button, mm -hmm. It will play the happy birthday song. Yeah. So in the end, when you press the card, it will play the song. Yeah. So let's jump into the code. Mm -hmm. We'll start at the uh, microbit.org uh, and uh, we open the uh, let's code tab. Mm -hmm. Here we come to all the editors as usual, mm -hmm. and this page might look a bit different from what you see here because it changes as they're evolving uh, the different editors over yeah, time. So for example, I have some uh, editors in beta right now, but that will change. So the one mm -hmm. we're interested in now with music is the Python editor. Mm -hmm. So I guess I'll open that. And also open the document uh, documentation. Yes, in, in, a, in a separate tab. Yeah. So that we can switch between the documentation and, and the, the code. Editor. So now we are in the code, mm -hmm. in the editor. Uh, and some of this code I need to save, I guess. I yeah, need we can use part of this. Uh, for example, the uh, from microbit import star, that part we pretty much always need, so we keep that. And then on line five, there is the while true loop. Uh, we will also use that this time, but the rest we can take away. Okay, so I'll take this away. But we need to import music. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, there's nothing to listen to. Yeah. So. How do I go about doing that? Uh, well, somewhere in the top of your code, so line three, we will write import music. Yeah. And then it knows that it should use music. Yeah, so now it will import a bunch of code, and uh, basically the thing we, we need is uh, for playing music, and also there's this predefined happy birthday song that we want to use. So mm -hmm. then within this while true part on the line six, Mm -hmm. I guess I will have to start out with telling it that we are going to press B button. Yeah, so now all the time uh, in this inside this loop, we want to check whether or not the B button is being pressed. I don't remember the B button command, but yeah. I guess I would find that inside of the, uh, the <coughs> documentation. Yeah, the yeah. documentation. So we'll have a look here for buttons. There we go. Mm -hmm. So now we're in on the part where they uh, give all kinds of examples and explain how you can use buttons. Now scroll down here and see, because wasn't it a bit down here yeah. that we could find the, the uh, Somewhere key? here, I think. Yeah. There. If button A, a is, is pressed. pressed. Yeah. Now I want button B, not A. But we can change that. Yeah. So I'll copy that and open the editor. And it's to be inside of the true loop, so I need to indent here. Exactly, tab, yeah. And then paste my command. Mm -hmm. uh, and then we change it to button B. Change it to button B. So now we've pressed the B button. Mm -hmm. So now the question is, what should happen if this button is being pressed? And that we put inside of this if, if statement. And then we would need that music thing. Yeah. And uh, is that in the documentation as well? Exactly. So we'll go here and see. Oh, there is music. Music. I'll press that. And somewhere down here, I mm -hmm. would find information about how to... So here you can find information on how to use the music and also which songs are predefined. I think there should be a list somewhere. Let's scroll down. And there see. we go. There we go. Mm -hmm. Oh, there's birthday. So it says, yeah, just birthday with mm -hmm. big capital letters. And above here, we find how to play music. So I would need this piece of code. Music.play. Yeah. So I'll copy that and I'll insert it with an indent. Mm -hmm. Inside our if statement. Yeah. And I'll change yeah. this part to, to birthday. birthday. So now we're telling the microbit to play a piece of music that is called birthday. When the B button is pressed. Yeah. So I don't think we need to do much more. No? We could uh, probably just download this code. And copy it over to our microbit. So I'll open the finder and drag this script to the microbit. There, there we, we go. go. 
and then we see it's blinking. And as you can see, this is a micro bit with an accessory on the back. So this is a little battery pack and a little buzzer. And uh, the battery pack we're going to use so we can unplug the cable, which we can actually do now because we're done with loading the code. And it's also got the buzzer that actually makes it possible to play the audio sound yeah. directly from that pack. But we could yeah. use, I guess, a three and a half millimeter sound port to a pair of uh, headphones. speakers or yeah. headphones or yeah. something. Yeah. Uh, so now we can turn on the battery over here. There we go. And you can put it into the card. Yeah. So if everything goes according to plan, we should be able to slide this down here. And if I press, we should have some birthday music on the mm -hmm. prototype card. Yeah, there we go. So in this way, we've learned how to use the microbit with Python to make an interactive birthday card.